today we're at Olive Garden, baby. I don't know why I did that. I'm really excited. And, okay, I mean, this is like a fat-ass bag of stuff. And they originally came out, and they were like, you didn't want the soup, right? And I was like, no, I did. Like, literally, the Zupa Toscana soup at, the, at Olive Garden is just unbelievably good and I know it's garbage and I know it's trash and it isn't good for me but it is so good I make it at home all the time so I was like yeah I want I want the soup please so then they went back in and got me soup but let me just get uh, situated All right. Well, first, ooh, oh, they loaded me up. Hell yeah. I got a raspberry lemonade. Holy shit. That is so good. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, so I got Zupi, Zupa Toscana, I got breadsticks, and then I got, uh, pasta, I got spaghetti and meat sauce. I don't know how I'm gonna take a picture of this, cause like, I don't know, what, let me see, they put stickers over the stuff. I'm so out of it today, like always. Um, I woke up with just crippling anxiety, like always. And uh, anyways, um, <laughs> okay, how am I gonna get a good picture? Sorry, just skip ahead, I'm just, okay. But, um, we're gonna start with the soup and some breadsticks. Oh, and they put a little, little piece of cardboard. I kind of like that. I, I'm sure that's not what it's for, but that's what I'm gonna use it for. Anyways, bitch, um, I have a lot on the agenda today. Once I get out of my own head and, uh, get this soup open. This was the wrong day to wear white, by the way. And I don't know if you can even see it. I'm like lighting up. It's like a, how can I get this to show up? It's like a two-headed cat. Why am I so like illuminated right now? This doesn't, can you see? It's like a two-headed cat. Well, anyways, I went to go say goodbye to Jordan. I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to fucking Olive Garden, tear it up. And he was like, oh, holy shit. And he looked at my shirt and he's like, I literally thought I was tripping balls for a second. Like, what? Because it is kind of trippy. But don't come for me. I forgot freaking silverware like always. Whatever. All right. We're getting the soup open. Oh, I'm so freaking excited about the gosh dang soup. Ooh. Let me get, let me get a little bit of, a little bit of soup. Bitch. God damn it. Like, there is just nothing better than Olive Garden soup. Zupa Toscana specifically. And it's currently 95 degrees. And oh, they say that you're supposed to eat like hot soup on a hot day so your internal temperature matches the external temperature. So. I, yeah. Okay. Maybe this soup will like bring me back to like <clears throat> life. Got breadsticks, bitch. Oh.
Okay. I like to let my breadsticks sit and like soak it up and get a little mushy, you know? Anyways, um, so it's Leo season, in case you didn't know that from every uh, Leo in your life telling you that it's Leo season, but um, yeah, I don't know. There's like a new cancer or a new moon in cancer. And I'm feeling it big time. Like, I've been seeing it all on my FYP. I was like, bitch, you're going to be feeling some shit the next, like, couple weeks. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm feeling shit. Don't like it. But, yeah, um, all of my, like, best friends have been Leos. And I feel particularly grateful to be in any Leo's life because they're picky as fuck. No offense. Are you kidding me? I think that was like the Leo gods just like smacking my camera like, how fucking dare you talk shit Oh, about Leo's. Sorry. Okay. This looks like shit now. What the fuck? Okay, I'm sorry. You, I have been trying new methods. Okay, this is it. This is it. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Excuse me. Um. Okay, my breadstick soaked up enough. Mm. But... Yeah, I mean, having Leo love is like nothing else. Once you get the Leo love and you tear down the wall after wall after wall after wall after wall that they put up um, and you, you know, what, what am I trying to say? Breach <laughs> the exterior. Shut up. I don't, I, I can't today. I'm sorry. I'm. Holy shit, a bird, did you see that? The Leo gods, I swear, are coming for me right now. Shit's fucked. I may or may not be too, uh, jibbled for this, if you get what I'm saying. This is random, but I used to work at a place very near to this olive garden. And I fucking hated the people I worked for. Like, they were assholes. And, but it was like a cool job. Have you ever had that? Where it's like a cool job, but you just hate your bosses or your the owners or whatever? Well, whenever they would go out of town and we had to work, they would leave us a blank check. And we'd pretty much always get Olive Garden. And I would order fucking everything. I would get expensive shit. All the shit. And I didn't feel... I never feel bad about it. I never have, never will. I... If you leave me a blank check and you're like, go to Olive Garden, bitch, I'm getting all the shit. Okay? So fuck you. That's on you. You're fucking dumb. See, that's how dumb they were. Like... Anyways. Holy shit. Okay, I kind of want to talk a little bit more shit about Leos and see like if anything else gets fucked up, but I don't know. Um, I wrote down a bunch of celebrity Leos and let's start. Well, first, I mean, you know, Leos are just kind of like really into themselves because uh, they're fucking awesome I mean why wouldn't you be into yourself when you're a Leo like come on but Madonna is the first one I wrote down and she seems like a Leo for sure 
and she kind of looks like a lion like recently she's still beautiful she's more beautiful than I'll ever be but she kind of looks like a lion right now Kylie Jenner is a Leo and that seems accurate God I just literally want to like drink this soup I'm a soup bitch I fucking love soup any time of the year any kind of soup sign me the fuck up let me get a little closer oh Steve Carell is a Leo. Which, like, whenever I think of Steve Carell, I just think of Michael Scott. And, like, Michael Scott does kind of fit Leo energy. So I guess so does Steve Carell. You know, just kind of oblivious to the fact that he might be a complete dipshit, but is like super into himself and is like a loyal friend, you know? So, no offense. BJ Novak from The Office is also a Leo, and I could see that for sure, but he seems more of like a backstabby kind of guy, which like, to me, okay, the whole list of Leos I have, they all kind of seem like they would stab you in the back. I don't know why. Well, I'm getting another fucking breadstick. Okay. Oh, Daniel Radcliffe is a Leo, and so is Harry Potter. And Jordan and I have been re-watching all the Harry Potters. We're on the third one now. And I forgot how long this shit takes. Like, we've been going, like, literally last night, I'm like, oh wait, are we on like the fourth or fifth one? And Jordan's like, we are literally on the second one. I was like, what? <laughs> it seems like a fucking lifetime has gone by, but they're great. Like, they're great, you know? Um, I... Okay, so the last time I took the Harry Potter test or whatever, I was Ravenclaw. But I love a good villain and what is it, Lucius, Lucius, Lucius or whatever the fuck, Malfoy is such a good uh, villain. Like I love a f just asshole. Anyways, so, oh excuse me, Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter, freaking Leos. Seems correct. But also, I mean, he's a fucking wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Of course, he's like, I'm the shit, bitch. Don't talk to me about my dead parents. Charlize Theron is a Leo. And... Oh, fuck, this lemonade is so goddamn good. Wow. Sorry, there's a server that is, like, in front of me, and they've been out here for, like, before I started the video, and it's been 14 minutes, so probably, like, I don't know, who knows how long, but they've been just chain-smoking cigarettes, and I, I feel ya. I feel ya. There are some days when you're serving, and nothing seems better than, um, just smoking a whole pack of cigarettes, and I don't even smoke. Like, there are some days where, um... I just want the longest, fattest rip of a cigarette just, and just in, just, oh, feel it through my lungs and my body. And like, you know, when Bella turns into a vampire, when like the venom goes through her body and it's just like through every like vein, that's what I want to feel when I smoke cigarettes. And sometimes I do. I never smoke cigarettes. I really, I have not had a cigarette in like three years, four years. I don't know. But I still think about cigarettes often. 
big time. Anyways, I don't know what the fuck just happened. Oh, Charlie, Char Charlize Theron is such a baddie. Mad Max Fury Road is a fucking awesome movie. You should watch that right now. Okay, I'm telling you, that was like one of the best movies I've ever seen. It's got uh, Tom Hardy. Uh, I don't, it's just, it's awesome. I don't even, don't just watch it. I'm telling you, it won all the awards because it's freaking awesome. Um, the range that Charlize Theron has seems very Leo, you know, like put her wherever she wants to be. Boom. She'll be in the spotlight, bitch. She can do it. That's some Leo shit. Um, Elizabeth Moss, the main character in The Handmaid's Tale, And so I've read all the books that, well, I think there's just two. I've read the books and I've seen all of the show and The Handmaid's Tale is great. It's eerily, like kind of realistic sometimes. I'm like, what? And um, the book has a twist that you'll never see coming. I was like, huh? Who? If you know, you know. I was like, what? Who? The, yeah? Anyways. Let me just fucking be in ecstasy right now. Mm. Speaking of ecstasy... There is a Shrek rave happening in Fargo. And I'm planning on going, bitch. And I might. I mean, I got an outfit ready. I have some perler bead things that I'll show you next video. They're not done. But it's Shrek related. Ugh. The soup. I needed this. I literally instantly feel better. Like, I'm telling you guys, I, I was having, like, out-of-body experience is, like, coming here, like, crippling anxiety. I was like, fuck, maybe I shouldn't do this. Like, I sat in bed for about an hour meditating with the fan on, with the Golden Girls on, trying to just, like, be in the moment, you know? And all that's gone now because of Olive Garden. Thank you. Oh, God, it's so good. Anyways, the Shrek rave. I'll tell you all about it if I go. My work schedule's kind of crazy that day. So I'm going to be going like work, checking on a dog, Shrek rave, boom. So I might not go, but I really want to go. Um, anyways, <laughs> Lil Uzi Vert is a Leo. And Lil Uzi Vert is just so adorable. I just think he's just the cutest little, just wee. I just want to fucking roll him up in a little ball and put him in my pocket and just give him little kisses on his little diamond in his forehead and just tell him that he's perfect. Lil Uzi Vert, if you're watching this, like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Let me start over. Jesus Christ. Lil Uzi Vert, if you're watching this, I love you. I don't even listen to your music. I don't really know what you're about. But just looking at you, I just love you. And that's also some Leo shit, you know? Just the spotlight is on you. And I'm just like, yeah. Because you're just cute. And you're just tiny. And I'm a behemoth. I, I think I'm double the size of you, if not triple. And I just want to pick you up and hold you as a baby. Anyways, Terry Crews is a Leo and like, why do I feel like he's in everything? I wrote down, I was like, Terry Crews seems wholesome, but maybe evil. What if he is like, just secretly a fucking asshole? 
like Ellen DeGeneres kind of shit. Just like the moment the cameras cut, um, he's just chain smoking cigarettes, just is super shitty to everyone around him. I'm not saying he is, I'm just saying like, what if, you know? Holy fuck. It's already 20 minutes and I've just been fucking around with this soup. I still got pasta. Mmm. Obama is a Leo. <laughs> I wasn't just saying Obama. Obama is a Leo. He is only the fourth president to be a Leo. Which, like, what signs are typically the president? Because, like, being the president kind of seems like a Leo thing to do. Like, bitch, look at me. I'm in control. But... I'm guessing the people that are presidents are usually like the asshole signs. No offense to it. But like I picture, fuck, I should look this up before I start saying shit. I will, maybe, well, probably not Scorpio because no one would vote for them. I'm a Scorpio so I can say that because everyone would be like, mm. I want to say Capricorn, but they're like, I don't know why. Anyways. Um, this is random, but my FYP has literally been bottles falling downstairs and people saying which eat, what each bottle would be Zodiac sign wise. And I've been living it. Like there's one, like for example, there's a bottle, oh, excuse me, that just goes down all fucking crazy, blows up, explodes, whatever, makes it to the end. And the person like commentating is like Aries. It's like, oh, yes. That was like real Aries of that bottle. And I I live for it. I'm like, wow. Anyways, I'll shut up. That's... Um, I got soup on my glasses. Martha Stewart is a Leo. Which, like, she seems like she'd rip your face off. She seems like a sweet hot grandma like someone the other day said they'd fuck Martha Stewart and I was like what I don't remember who said that but I mean she's not ugly or anything it's just she's like 80 isn't she like she's like kind of old she looks great I mean whatever I just thought Martha Stewart was a really random person to choose to fuck. But, <laughs> like, unprompted. Like, hey, what celebrity would you fuck? Martha Stewart! Okay! Mm. Okay, bitch. Oh, I wish I could like show you this. It's hard to show this without spilling it. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Give me the soup. Wow. This was a wrong day to wear white. I'm worried. Oh my god. I need every bit of this. Like, when I tell you I do the unlimited soup and salad, I'm a feral fucking crazy bitch. I'm gobbling that shit up. Just keep them coming. Don't stop with the Zupa, baby. Okay. That was incredible. That was amazing. Oh my god. Some chicks just walking by. Okay. Oh. Uh oh, I need a... Where's my fork? I 
Okay. That server is finally leaving. I'm confused. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for my pasta, baby. I just got spaghetti with meat sauce. Like, if I could, oh my God. Okay, I got it open. Woo! Okay, let's see if I can get a good picture. I'll try one more and then. Okay, let me get a bread stick out. Um, yeah, so Martha Stewart seems very scary to me. I don't know. She doesn't really seem like a Leo. I don't know why, I just think she's fucking evil for some reason. Okay, the next people I wrote down were Cole and Dylan Sprouse from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody or whatever. And they're beautiful, but they're twins. And you already know how I feel about twins. Oh, excuse me, okay. Hmm. Tastes different when you're not there. This tastes different. But it's still spaghetti, you know. Yeah, give me that sauce. No, when I was pulling up, getting curbside, there were two adult twins leaving Olive Garden, both looking like they were men, wearing similar clothing. And it scared me. I was like, what? What is that? Hold on. I think that's just an herb. Anyways, twins are scary. Cole and Dylan Sprouse, they kind of seem like Leos. I never really watched The Sweet Life, Life of Zach, <clears throat> excuse me, Zach and Cody. I follow one of them on Twitter, but I couldn't tell you which one because they're fucking identical twins, so I had no idea which, what, wh huh? So, anyways. Um, oh, I guess the last one I got written down, Tom Brady is a Leo. I mean... That does seem very Leo to be like, I'm the quarterback. I'm not going to take advice from anybody else. I give advice. I'm the one that's making decisions. I'm just going to do it myself. Okay? I'm going to do this shit myself. I'm going to win the Super Bowl myself. Because everybody else is wrong. So... All I think about when I think of Tom Brady is him just kissing everybody on the lips. <laughs> Anyways, though, those were the notable Leos that I wrote down. There's probably more, but whatever. Um, I finished the bear. I like how it ended. I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, but I'll just say like it, the last episode didn't go as I thought it would. I was like, oh. And it's, I'm not, it, I'm not spoiling anything really, but it like kind of ends on a sad note, which I love. I love a sad ending. Like, I prefer it. I finished Bob's Burgers. 
Which, like, Bob's Burgers is just so <sighs> good. It makes me feel good. But every now and then, there's, like, some weird, depressing joke in there that just kind of makes me sad. What is that? Does anyone else get, like... sadness from things that used to make them feel happy or like you have to be in the mood to feel this kind of happy or something maybe that's just like depression or I don't know but like maybe what is that it's maybe like a nostalgic thing or like I don't I don't know what the fuck I'm even saying but anyways Bob's burger sometimes makes me sad but it's great and I love it at the same time Jordan and I watched Jackass Forever, and we saw it in theaters, like, when it first came out, and that was, like, the first movie we saw in theaters, like, after the pandemic, I'm pretty sure, and that was, like, I specifically remember after Jackass Forever, like, after we were leaving the theater, I was, like, that was the first time since literally, like, 2006 that I felt happiness and like things were right with the world and we I don't it was just it's just stupid it's so ridiculous and like we literally watched a grown man light a fart on fire full butthole just like and I was like yeah <laughs> yeah like Hell yeah! That's what I'm fucking talking about! So... Anyways. Um, I think Jordan and I are gonna go to Oppenheimer tonight. And then I'll talk shit about it in the next mukbang. Unless we don't go. But, I've heard it's good. I've heard it's loud. I'm sensitive to loud shit. Um, I was asked to be a bridesmaid at Jordan's sister's wedding and I cried and I said yes. And then when I was really, really, really stoned, I thought about the fact that um, I'm gonna have to be in front of everyone at the wedding and do like a grand entrance I'm terrified I have extreme social anxiety I basically I'm like all right I gotta get a workout plan I gotta get a diet I gotta lose a hundred pounds essentially I gotta fucking just complete lifestyle change so that in a year basically from now I'm ready to be in front of like 200 fucking people and like literally I was like freaking out I was like super high and I was like okay Jordan we gotta get like our grand entrance dance down right now like you gotta do something to make yourself stand out we gotta practice bitch but I'm excited I'm so happy okay <laughs> I, that sounds terrible I'll get over it I'll get over it I'm very excited Holy shit. I gotta show you, I just need a breather. And I'm gonna show you um, some of the perler beads I made. So, first of all, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> just like a little, little tiny wizard frog. And then, I haven't made these into earrings yet, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm thinking of doing a hound's tooth photo shoot. That's kind of hard to say. I'm, I'm surprised I said that correctly. Um, where, cause I have everything hound's tooth except hound's tooth earrings. So I was like, bitch, I'll just make some. Not sure if I'm going to keep this color scheme, but like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. 
Um, what else? The I made it like a houndstooth, just square, just trying out different houndstooth patterns and shit. Why does this look crooked? Is it? Anyways, and then I made. Wait, is this? Hold on, this is tripping me out. Is this backwards? What? I don't know. A little beanie baby. Little beanie baby tag. Beanie baby. Because yesterday I was baby. All day. I was like, Jordan, fucking hold me. Pick me up. It was like, no. TMI coming up. Second day of my period. I was miserable. I'm still miserable. Okay, I'm in fucking pain. And I was like, can I just be baby? Can I get Starbucks today? Like, take me to Target. And he did. And I was baby. And then I was like, baby. And then... <laughs> this is ah, the little hands. This is ah. mm. Mm. yeah. Anyways, mm. yeah. Those are the perler beads I made this week. Anyways, I will. Uh oh, can I get this in here without breaking his little hand? I got a houndstooth bag. Uh-oh. Well, okay, we're just gonna... Ah, quit being freaking dumb. Um, so I have, as I'm filming this, like... Okay, I got it in there. Um, 150 subs. Which is a milestone for me. Freaking awesome. And I have a serious question. Is it too early to make merch? Like, am I kind of pulling a Leo card here and being like, I'm the fucking shit. I um, need attention in the spotlight by my merch. But would you buy merch? Because, like, I make art. I can just make merch. Anyways. And I, I've been thinking about getting a P.O. box. So people can send me shit. Or whatever. Not actual shit. Please don't send me shit. <sighs> Anyways. I'm just going to shut up. And continue eating. This is a lot. Oh, you guys, I'm so worried I'm going to get food on this shirt. I'm, I'm very, like, happy with myself. You cannot see this. This is so, like, illuminated. I haven't gotten a drop of anything on here. Has anyone read The Alice Network? And if you have, can you please let me know if it gets better? Like, I'm struggling. Is there something wrong with me? It has like five out of five stars everywhere. But, I think it's boring as fuck. Like, I read before bed. And I'm out within like a page because it's just fucking boring. There's nothing to me, nothing that crazy has happened so far except I'm like, I don't know, 200 fucking pages in and there's like a slight, so it's like about spies like in World War II. These girls are spies at like a fucking German cafe or some shit. And um, there's like a slight possibility that someone has found them out that they're spies and I was like "Ooh, what's gonna happen something actually is happening now no nothing happened like is the ending good or like what's what's the why maybe it's just like not my genre 
which like it isn't but it's been so highly recommended that I'm like okay I hate the way spaghetti sounds the wet ass pussy spaghetti macaroni in a pot Yeah. Oh. Holy shit. Well, <clears throat> I am full as fuck right now. <sighs> I'll finish my breadstick and then I'm gonna get out of here. My Snapchat um, group chat is just popping off right now because my boss quit and it's been rough. I cried. I cried my eyes out all the way home when he told me and it's just not going to be the same, you know? You know when you have like a fucking awesome boss and coworker? that you just love and you vibe with. Imagine that like literally times 10 and every single person you work with works well with this person too. And it all just makes it work well. Like we worked well, okay? It just sucks. Sorry, don't mean to trauma dump on you guys, but shush. I want the sauce. I just want more soup. Next time I come here, if I'm filming, I just want like that, that tub. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say. That after that, tub after tub, just tub, tub, tub of soup. Give me fucking gallons of soup. When I make it at home, I make like a whole crock pot full of it. I have a really good recipe for their Zupa. And I literally eat all of it in one sitting, essentially, and I get violently sick. But it is so good. I just, I literally basically take the whole crock pot and just drink out of it. Like, it is so freaking good. I don't actually do that, but I basically do if you, yeah. Anyways. Holy shit. Holy fuck, I am literally so full. Ugh. That's what I say every time I leave an Olive Garden. I, like, I is that, like, do you, if anyone works at Olive Garden and you're watching this, can you tell me, like, what's the most you've ever seen someone eat here? And, like, um, is it common for people to just, like, shit themselves at Olive Garden or just puke because I am so violently ill and I didn't even have the never ending I had like uh, just a portioned out thing of it oh my god I need a Tums I need to go take a nap maybe we won't go to Oppenheimer tonight I'm I'm exhausted okay I got I did too much already oh well, anyways, I'll get out of here. I love you. Okay, bye.